everybody. Uh, there's been a huge amount of talk about this idea of AI destroying artists and destroying artistry and basically putting people out of work. Yes, I think there's a genuine threat that if you are a commercial artist making imagery, drawings, whatever, for corporations, that yes, your your job probably will be at risk as it'll be much easier to put a pump, a, have a, a artificial intelligence pump out a quick design at the same time, especially for underground artists, musicians, and filmmakers, AI shouldn't be seen as that much of a threat. The bottom line is yes, major Hollywood writers should see this as a threat because AI can replicate very cheesy, very formulaic creations. So if your music is a one-two pop sensation thing and you're just writing the same crap as every other pop songwriter, yes, a machine can probably replicate what you do. If you are a film writer who only does mush sitcoms and, you know, the basic love story type stuff, the rom-coms or the superhero movies, that stuff's very formulaic. It's not this deep plan, and it's almost as if the humans are acting as the AI because they're just filling in the blanks of a formula already. None of these, pe none of these people who are at risk were really making detailed human art. The key to this is... What is AI? It's another voice in the room. Since the dawn of time, there have been bands that copy other bands to a T. Uh, every 10 years or so, there's a big band, and then 20 bands that sound just like them. Is that any different, really, than having AI create different versions of things? No. No, it's not. A big part of this is that a lot of artists are threatened by the fact that they can't just churn out the same boring nonsense anymore. And in reality, as an artist, you are responsible to write creative stuff that bends minds that's unique. A machine can't take what you create and recreate it easily if you're doing something truly personal and something that only speaks for you. The problem is most artists are trying to fulfill an already set standard and they're trying to make money. The problem with these standards are they're made to make money because they're simple and easily fulfilled. If you're scared that a robot could take your job, you should be equally scared that another band could take your job. You're not, if, if you're so worried that a, a simple formula and equation can match your work, that means another band could. That means any millions of bands could. There's always been competition in the marketplace. There's always been the demand that an artist rise up and be better than the competition. And what is AI in art? But another comp set of competent people, it's a competing voice. That's what it is. The bottom line on this AI shit is that if you're threatened by it, you probably need to examine your own work and realize, hey, maybe I don't feel confident in what I'm doing. Maybe I need to work harder to create a unique idea. I mean, this is not to say I don't feel bad for people who are recently out of work. I mean... The pandemic put a ton of other people out of work, too. I mean, I worked in film production for years, and I no longer do. Had to make a huge life's change in that. But on a whole, I don't feel any less of a musician because AI can make an album that sounds just like Oasis or an album that sounds just like, an album that sounds just like Metallica. I'm not threatened by this because I'm neither of those artists. And if they want to make an album like me, they're going to have to work pretty hard because I think I do some pretty weird stuff. Whether you love it or hate it, it's strange. It stands to its own. It's its own voice. So if a computer can do what I do and people like what the computer does better, I need to look at myself and go, what am I doing wrong as an artist? Art is not an absolute. And if you can't compete in the world with a with a formulaic machine coming after you, you can't really compete with human artists either. I think this AI thing, it's, it's here to stay. It's not a trend. It's going to keep going. But on so many other levels, it's going to be just another voice in the room, and you can adapt to it, you can use it, you can utilize it, but in the end, your taste, your discernment, all of this belongs to you. As an artist, everything is a tool. I mean... I remember people, when I'm old enough to remember when people thought digital tracking was cheating. Soon, you'll have, be able to tell an AI, hey, I like this idea, I want a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and it'll throw something at you. At the same time, if you're a musician, you say you listen to some Pantera, some Slayer, some punk music, you throw it all in, and you play it with your own hands, 
in a way, you're actually just acting the same way as the AI. I know it's not that simple and it's not that easy to boil down, but in the end, you shouldn't, as a good artist, you shouldn't be threatened by this. You should see it as a new, unique challenge, but in the end, if you're really worried about AI, maybe you should be worried about what you think about your own art. I think AI is like anything, it's an opportunity, it's a permanent change, just like Napster was, just like, you know, DVD turning into streaming. We've survived all of these things to varying extents. I mean, the money isn't what it was, but things always evolve, they always change, and you are responsible to keep up or get, get out. I know, you might not like AI, you might like it, in the end it's here to stay, and in my opinion, you gotta work with it. If you try to work against it, you're just gonna get eaten alive. Just my two cents. See you later.